Hey folks, Matt from artoftheimage.com. Perhaps the biggest news that's come out of Photokina in terms of DSLRs anyway, is the Nikon D750. Now, a lot of people are saying that the D750 is what the D600 or the D610 should have always been. Some people are saying it is the D700 replacement that we never got. Other people are saying it's not. But essentially, there are five main reasons why you would want the D750 over the D610. Uh, there's not a huge price difference here. Uh, basically a few hundred dollars and I'm sure we're going to see some sales and some discounts coming up as we come into uh, Christmas and even into like the Black Friday season which will be coming up. Basically the first big thing that's an advantage on the D750 is the new 51.15 cross type um, autofocus system and that's the multicam 3500 version 2 versus the 39.9 cross type uh, multicam 2700 in the D610. So basically what they've done is they're giving the flagship autofocus system to the D750. So it's going to be better than the 610 and by a big enough margin that you're going to notice it, especially on moving targets, sports, and things like that. Next up, we've got a more advanced metering system. We've got a 91,000 pixel RGB sensor for metering versus the 2016 pixel uh, sensor in the D610. So you can expect better, more advanced metering out of the D750. The third thing is it looks like they're basically saying that the D750 is good for about a stop more high ISO range than the D610 is. They're comfortable in saying that the range is 100 to 12,800 for the D750, whereas it was only 100 to 6,400 for the D610. Um, expanded is 51,200. So it'll be interesting to see um, how much better it actually is than the D610, but I think we can assume that it at least is somewhat better, if not perhaps maybe the full stop that the specs would tend to indicate. Uh, next up we have the fact that the tilting LCD is built in now. Similar to what we have on the D5300, there's a tilting movable LCD, very angle LCD, and I've been saying for some time that this is what Nikon needs to put on the professional DSLRs. It is a necessity. Once you start shooting with it, you're not gonna want a camera that doesn't have it, and kudos to Nikon for putting this on the D750 onto a professional DSLR. Next up, we have the fact that Wi-Fi is internal. So that uh, is another excellent point instead of having to use an optional dongle plug-in USB thing. And um, that basically gives us uh, the main reasons why the D750 is better than why you might want it more than the D610. So that's five main reasons. There's a couple of small others. It's actually slightly less weight than the D610 while probably being slightly better built. Um, and we also are getting a claimed 1,230 shots off the battery versus the D610's 900 shots. Several more smaller points that are in favor of the D750, but the five main reasons are those first five I gave you there. What do you guys think? Are you interested in the 750? Do you think it's that much better than the D610? Do you think this is the 700's final replacement, the D700's successor? Uh, I think this is an excellent camera. I think it's still missing a few things. I think Nikon should have come out with 4K and there's a few other things. We should have a touch screen on it and things like that. However, it's a great step up from the 610 um, and I don't think I would buy the 610 if I was in the market for full frame DSLR today. What do you guys think? Leave me comments below. Let's have a discussion. 750 versus a 610 and we'll be back soon with some more videos some more articles keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography videography and technology right here at artoftheimage.com thanks a lot folks